First and foremost, let's go over the materials used to make these floral applique bralettes. Scissors, measuring tape, fabric glue, a sewing machine and matching thread, nude tulle mesh, and an embroidered fabric where you can cut the flower shapes out. You also need two different size elastic bands. In order to determine how much elastic band you will need, you can measure a bralette that you already own or go to a store and measure one there. You'll need half an inch for the underbust and a quarter inch for the bra shape, shoulder straps, and any additional straps. For the white bralette, I bought half a yard of floral applique trim. You can start by creating a bralette pattern. I started by using the same pattern that I used for the Feather Trim 90 video, but added a bit more coverage for the bust. Once you cut out your pattern piece, you're going to fold the mesh into eight layers. You can then pin your pattern piece to the top of the mesh. Then you will cut out the pattern piece with all eight layers of mesh. Once you remove the pins, you're going to separate the mesh into two pieces each. Then you'll begin to pin along the longer curved edge. You'll do the same thing four times, so you need eight pieces of mesh per bralette. Since I'm making two, I have 16. You'll then sew along the pinned edge, leaving half an inch seam allowance. Then you'll repeat this step for the next three paired off mesh pieces. Now you're gonna measure your underbust. I used the underbust band trim and estimated exactly where I wanted it to be cut based on how much stretch I wanted. Keep in mind that you don't want it to be too stretchy or too tight. My underbust band measured about 27 and a half inches. Then I sewed the edges together. I went over it about three times back and forth to make sure that it was secure. I did the exact same thing for the black bralette. Next, you're going to determine the strap length that you'll need. You can measure it on yourself or use a bra you already have. Next, you'll take two mesh pieces that are already sewn together at the seam and pin it so that the right sides are facing each other. You're also pinning your shoulder strap face down between the two pieces. Now you're gonna sew these two pieces together along the pinned edge, leaving half an inch seam allowance. Make sure to leave the bottom edge open. Once you repeat this step for the other side of the bralette, you're gonna take your quarter inch trim and begin pinning it along the edge of the mesh bust panel. Using a zigzag stitch, you're going to sew along the edge. This will allow your bust area to have some stretch. And once you're done doing that, the last step for the bralette is to attach the bust pieces to the underbust band. In order to figure out exactly where you want your back straps to be placed, it might be easier to just try the bralette on. Then you can pin the shoulder strap edge to the back of the bralette. Now you can sew the bra pieces to the underbust band. Lastly, you'll be tacking your straps to the underbust band. I added additional straps for the white bralette, so I just pinned those first while I was wearing it. I took off the pin bralette, then finished by tacking the additional straps with the sewing machine. So now your bralettes are ready, you just need to add your appliques. I started by cutting out the white floral applique pieces. Then I took my fabric glue and began arranging the pieces exactly how I wanted them. Keep in mind that this bra is see-through, so you may want to put on the bra first and pin an applique exactly where you want it to cover. Then I moved on to the black bralette and began cutting out my floral fabric pieces. 
I really like the contrast of these two colors. I think this is my favorite of the two. I then glued the pieces down once I had them placed how I wanted. Then I flipped the bralette over and added a few floral pieces to the back to add a little something unique. Using the extra quarter inch trim, I made an easy tie choker to go with the black bralette. And I used the leftover applique trim to make a choker to go with the white bralette by adding chains and closures at the ends. So now that I'm done making the bralettes and chokers, here's a closer look. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this.